Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to design login form using Metro Framework. First, you need to install the package Metro Framework. The Metro Modern UI or Metro Framework brings Windows 8 UI to .NET Windows Forms applications. We will create a new tab, then add a reference to the Metro Framework library. You need to add a metro panel to form 1. We will use the metro panel to contain the user controls. You need to add a table layout control to the login user control. The table layout panel control arranges its contents in a grid. Because the layout is performed both at design time and runtime, it can change dynamically as the application environment changes. This gives the controls in the panel the ability to proportionally resize, so they can respond to changes such as the parent control resizing or text length changing due to localization. Any Windows Forms control can be a child of the Table Layout Panel control, including other instances of Table Layout Panel. This allows you to construct sophisticated layouts that adapt to changes at runtime. The Table Layout Panel control can expand to accommodate new controls when they are added, depending on the value of the row count, column count, and gross style properties. Setting either the row count or column count property to a value of zero specifies that the table layout panel will be unbound in the corresponding direction. You can also control the direction of expansion after the table layout panel control is full of child controls. By default, the table layout panel control expands downward by adding rows. If you want rows and columns that behave differently from the default behavior, you can control the properties of rows and columns by using the rows styles and column styles properties. You can set the properties of rows or columns individually.
We will use singleton pattern to create a new instance of the main form. This singleton pattern is a design pattern that restricts the instantiation of a class to one object. This is useful when exactly one object is needed to coordinate actions across the system. Thank you for watching this video.